brothers and sisters of Celestial Energy, this is Brother Wilson. Okay, yesterday we had a huge solar storm. A huge solar storm. Um, if any of you guys keep up with uh, Wages World, you would have saw how um, Wages World, um, I mean, all of the, the, the channels that deal with the science of the sun, because right now, it's like all of them are watching our galactic sun. Um, any of you who uh, watch the science uh, of the sun with the, and the, these different channels, you will see that these inorganic beings are extremely, extremely, extremely concerned as well as scared of the energy that is coming from our sun. And remember, our, you have to remember the um, the whole symmetry of the, excuse me, of this here. Our sun just doesn't send energy alone. Our planet requests that energy as well. It's like, you know, you put in a request, it's like you call um, such, such place, Let's say you call Domino's, I want a pizza. Domino's have the pizza ready for you. I want to deliver, and Domino's deliver the pizza. Our planet sends our request. Remember we talking about entropy? And entropy, frequencies are being sent out, all right? So our planet is communicating with the sun, saying, hey, I got a virus. I got a virus that I need to get rid of, and I need you to help me get rid of this virus. Okay, I need you to help me get rid of this virus. So what is our son doing? Our son said, okay, cool. And I plan to send out more frequencies. Yeah, you killed some, but you ain't killed enough. You still got a whole lot more virus cells. We need to get rid of them. And that's what's happening. Entropy. Look at science, brothers and sisters. Science. Science is the is like the, 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 the truest way to look into all supreme powers, to all supreme energy is science. And we're watching science happen right before us. Yesterday was a huge solar storm that came in. Alright? Because I literally I was driving. I was at um Lowe's. When I went into Lowe's, it was like 89. 90, somewhere around there. Then by the time I got, I parked in the parking lot, it's like it jumped from 90 up to 92, 93. I saw this inorganic being, this white man, this, you know, this Saxon come in, and um, he was like, he was like, from that point, I walked to the parking lot, from the parking lot to in the store, he said, felt like my spirit was going to leave my body. This is what he said. He says, oh my goodness. He says, like the, 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 the energy and the heat just went whoosh. He said, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? At first I was going to say it was a solar storm, but then I, you know, actually was like, nope, I'm not going to say nothing at all. So, by the time I left Lowe's, the temperature... Uh, Cause I was at Lowe's in Southfield, over on Telegraph and um, what's that? Telegraph and Twelve Mile, Telegraph uh, and Twelve Mile, Telegraph in between Eleven and Twelve Mile over the area. So you guys in Michigan, you know area, you know what I'm talking about. And I live over um, by Davidson Freeway. All right, I live over at Wyoming, Wyoming Davidson area. So you know the drive that I had. Those of you from Detroit, you know the drive that I had. From the time I got in my car, uh, when I left Lowe's, because I had to get me a, uh, um, a bucket of uh, stain to um, do my uh, my front porch. And from the time I left Lowe's to the time I got home, which is probably about a 30 minute drive, somewhere in that range, the temperature went from 95 to 100 within a 30 minute period. And I said, there goes that solar storm. So there goes that solar storm and there's that, that powerful energy. 
when you talk about the um, the ozone layer, remember the ozone is a protective barrier that these uh, Saxons created. All right, these Saxons created an ozone barrier to try to block certain energy. And when they say the ozone layer is gone, they're talking about that uh, that device that they created to protect them from the cosmic elements that's gone. This is why uh, Elon Musk is trying to send up that Starlink system. I was just watching um, oh a movie. Oh yeah 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 yeah. My wife and I was watching that movie. Um, oh my goodness, I forgot the name of it. But basically, they had this this grid of them. Basically, they, they these inorganic beings had in the movie they took the grid and, and weaponized it or whatever. But I, I looked at it and I told my wife, I said, see, there goes that. That's that whole, that's what uh, um, Elon Musk was trying to create, was that um, Starlink system. Because it was like, uh, this. The, they were trying to control the weather with this grid. And they were sending bombs, uh, these, these uh, bombs into different storms to stop the storms from happening. And it was like them trying to control, have complete control of the planet. And this is what Elon Musk is doing. Elon Musk has got this grid that he's trying to uh, create, but it's designed to it, it's designed to try to keep um, energy from coming in from from the sun coming into the planet. But as we see right now, his Starlink program is, is failing, which means that his money is not more powerful than the energy from the sun. All right. You got rockets and satellites flying, falling out of the sky right now. Literally, the energy from the sun is destroying it very soon. Like we said, very soon, they won't be able to see what's going to happen, what's happening with the sun. All right. Because our sun is literally pushing, knocking one of their satellites is already offline, is already gone. It's somewhere out there in La La Land in space somewhere. All right. I think that's Stereo uh, B. I think it's Stereo B that's gone. And they still have Stereo A that they're that they're uh, that they're uh, using, but you know the energy it's it's literally here, and this is you know all a part of the retrograde. This is all a part of the um, evolution. Um, yesterday when I left the gym, before I left the gym, there was this one Saxon. He says he says man from the time um, I walked to my car to come here in the gym. He said, I thought I was going to die. I was like, wow. And I, when I went out to the car and I turned my van on because I have a I have a thermostat right here um, in, the, in the ceiling. And it was like 87, 88 degrees. But it was a different type of heat. All right. It was a different type of heat. So they put all this stuff in the sky. They spray all this stuff in the sky and they put precipitation in there to block off the heat. Because last night there was a storm they made it rain all right and i hate that rain because that rain destroys my um my uh garden the, the, the leaves on my on my on my on my vegetables that rain literally destroys this this, this literally destroys my garden whatever that chemical is that they use but they made it rain they cooled it off i was enjoying the heat i mean so many brothers and sisters was enjoying the heat Oh my goodness, it felt so good. I was like, oh my goodness, it's 100 degrees and this shit feel good. I had my windows down, enjoying myself, and the next thing you know, it's raining. So I'm like, okay, these motherfuckers are fighting real hard. Here's the problem, brothers and sisters. We don't have the trees that we used to have. Here on our planet, yeah, we had cities that we had built, all right? But our cities, these cities were designed to hold the energy from the sun. When we went inside those buildings, it wasn't hot because it was, our planet is a hot planet. Our planet is the third planet, you know, third major planet from the sun. Okay, so um, this is a hot planet. It's supposed to be hot. There's not supposed to be no part of the planet that's supposed to be that that was cold. All right, literally, this planet is supposed to be hot. All right. I hope I'm not bamboozling y'all like Troop said. Um, so 
what's hap- what's uh, or what's happening is they're trying to find a system or they're trying to improve their system to stop the energy from coming from our sun. All right? And it's literally imperative, brothers and sisters, that we continue moving forward. Just because we had awakened, you know, I was talking to another brother and I said, you know, our awakening triggered everything. And the brother was like, yeah, you're right. I said, yeah, because before this mass awakening, these things weren't going on. You can think, you can think back. And that wasn't, this, this energy that's, that's coming wasn't happening. But when we woke up and we saw that we weren't asleep and we saw that things were happening the way that it wasn't supposed to happen, that is when, that's when things begin to change. That's when things begin to uh, 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 open up all over the cosmos, our, the awakening point. And I still go back to that time when we first did that first mass meditation, all right? When I first organized that very first mass meditation, and brother, and it was through Facebook, and that was like that one moment because so many of us had not been uh, in that state of mind. So we're looking at some powerful energy that's coming in on the planet. All right. We got more solar flares to come. We got more uh, uh, solar storms to come. This this is not all brothers. We got a massive amount that's getting ready to land here on our planet. All right. And like uh, uh, Wages World was saying, he was like, this is coming the sun has got this directly coming. It's a streamline of plasma energy coming directly for the planet. Nothing but our planet. And you got to understand, our sun, like I said, our sun and our planet are communicating. Our planet says, I'm tired of these beings. I'm tired of what they're doing. I'm tired of them killing our people. I just watched this uh, one thing on Ivy Anita, and it was about this um, white Italian guy in Italy, he um, beat a Nigerian brother to death. He said because a Nigerian brother complimented his girlfriend. And it was days before the Italian government finally did something about it. But see, what we are seeing here is how these inorganic beings have got to go. Literally. And the, the sister doing the doing the video on, on Ivy Anita says that nobody was helping the brother out. Said the brother had was on crutches and said this white guy just beat him and said that people had their cameras out videotaping this like it was a show, like it was sport, like it was something that I mean it's like wow you you beating the hell out of this man until he was dead and then the white guy gets up and walks away. And this is what we're dealing with. But we're also dealing with our people going against our own people, killing our own people because of the system that was created. And nature says, I am tired of this. I am tired of my people dying at the hands of, 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 of my own. She says, I am tired of this frequency, these vibrations that's being sent through the system. This is what nature is saying. I was watching a, um, a, a commercial and you know you had we have DTE energy, Detroit, uh, um, um, and we have DTE um, Edison, Detroit Edison, and um, on the commercial they said, yeah, we're trimming down trees and we're saving the grid. So it's like they let you know on their commercials this is what we're doing. Like so many brothers, you got brothers and coming in on chiming in. It's like. Why are you letting them know what you're doing? It's like, because they're letting us know what they're doing. So we got to let us let them know what we're doing as well. Bill, create. Bill, create. We're opening the gateways on the planet so that nothing but superior energy can come in here on us on our planet. So that we can be at the state of superiority. We're not calling this black superiority. We're literally calling this 
extremely high energy, extremely high power. This is what we're calling this. So we have to understand, excuse me now, understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters, that we have a battle that is against us. And we've got to uh, uh, face this battle accordingly. And accordingly means that we have to do things in order and balance in order to bring down the system that's currently in, uh, in, in, in action, which means that we have to bring it down. How do we bring it down? Raising our conscious, building, creating. Our awakening is their demise. We need more brothers and sisters to awaken. All right, this is the whole key point here. This is the whole key point. We send putting ourselves in the higher level of energy, a higher level of intelligence. All right. Sometimes we have to search for things. Sometimes we don't. But yet still, our searching, our looking, our reading, our gathering information is necessary for this awakening so that we can come into that state of rapture, that rapture state. Rapture means um, a spiritually enhanced mindset. All right. That's what rapture means, a spiritually enhanced mindset. I didn't get that from the dictionary. I got that from the um, encyclopedia. A spiritually en enhanced mindset is what rapture means. So basically, we're when our minds have enhanced spiritually, this is a part of the rapture. This is a part of the we being caught up in that energy. All right. And as we're being caught up in that energy, the energy that we are linking into is energy that's coming to us. This energy that we need. But our our, our uh, ancestors gathered this energy all this all all together. But our enemies, they fight against this energy because their bodies are not designed for this. All right, their bodies are not designed for this, brothers and sisters. We're in the midst of a war, and it's a war against nature. And the war against nature is the war against us. Get yourself together. All right, understand what's happening with us. All right, it's raining right now. It's 85 degrees. All right. It's supposed to be 90 something according to their forecasting. They're trying to create. They're creating a forecast to tell us this is what we're going to do to make the weather. We have a create create a forecast to say, I'm going to build this on this day. I'm going to build this on this day. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to strategically put this over here. And I'm going to put this over here. We're supposed to be building constantly. I was already building today. I was doing some things today. Tomorrow, I don't know. Um, I got to see how things go. Um, but I'm more than likely I'm going to get up and start putting some more things together. By Sunday, I should have everything together for that first gateway. Um, and by the end of the week, I should uh, have things together for the second part of that gateway. I got another pyramid that I got to put up. Then I got another pyramid I got to build. I got to build another gateway. It's, it's, this is this is what we're, we're supposed to be doing constantly, building and creating. All right, guys. All right. Passes on to you guys. I hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that's happening. Our awakening is what's happening. The solar storms are happening. And their system is, is about to be done away with. You got to keep moving forward. Got to keep growing. Got to keep uh, literally moving into the higher realms. Okay. Much power to you all. All power to the Motu Shaka. Celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos brings change, not peace. All right? Much power to you all. Catch you guys later.